Hello everyone, hopefully you're all getting lots of time on the water. Now's the season. This was a day at Ipper Wash Kettle Point uh, a couple weeks ago. Showed up there and there's no breeze at all and kind of got this board ready and got on the water and a little bit of a breeze picked up so uh, switched to winging. Don't fight the wind, use the wind to your advantage. And for me, it's all about the work to reward ratio. If you can use a wing or kite or anything and kind of use that as your high speed chairlift to get you back out there, it's just a, a win win, less effort, way more waves, and a lot more fun. Who's the best guy on the water? The guy who's having the most fun. I think that has a lot to do with it for sure. So just get out there and have fun. So this particular day, I'd say maybe like a five out of 10 for this particular spot. When I ride the waves, if I can get that wing in my back hand and it follow me, get that wing behind you, that's my favorite way to manage the wing. You really don't have to think about it quite as much. It makes it easy to manage. You can just concentrate on the waves and riding. So in riding the wave, it's easier to kick out before it fully ends. Just makes it uh, easier to get back out. So getting started up on the foil in the waves, my biggest tip would be be very patient for the wind to come up a wing a proper wind gust um, you can really gas yourself out just by pumping and pumping and pumping and up and down and it's just you know if you're a little bit more patient and look up wind and just wait for it you can save yourself a lot of time and energy um, in flat water, it is very possible to just continue to pump and you'll you'll get up. But in the waves, I mean, one wave can just kill that speed and you're back to square one. So just wait for that big gust to come through in light wind and you can save yourself a lot of energy. I always like to ride strapless, I'm not huge into doing jumps. If I want to jump, I'll get on a kite and a twin tip and just send it that way. But I find strapless, you get to put your feet exactly where you want them to be and you can move your feet around and it's just like less fatiguing. And just, uh, you have to ride it more pure and you can just get your feet exactly where you want. It's very comfortable. Also, when you're riding in the waves, you can be heading out, get in the wave and switch your feet really quickly. If you see a good swell coming and then you can get right, right into it. The transitions uh, and turning with strapless, you can do it really quickly and that's a skill you can work on on the flat water and it'll just make life a lot easier. I did a little switch there see a good one coming and boom quick switch the feet and then you're not really monkeying around with foot straps you're trying to get in there you can just shuffle your feet around very quickly so i really do like that i always try to time my switch of the feet sometimes on the down slope of a wave if you're heading into it or you almost do a little ollie, a quick little unweight of the board and then switch your feet. Another thing I wanted to just mention is when you're heading out and going over whitewash on waves, keep your wing up high and just try to be light on your feet when you're going over that whitewash and don't Try to compensate for that whitewash hit it and just keep your board at a level level plane not up and down you don't have to like boost put back foot pressure or front foot pressure 
just keep that wing high, good speed, light on the feet, and just look forward and, and cruise through it. So that day was nothing too crazy, still had a great time. The amount of turns I did in one day, probably over a hundred, just amazing. So go out and have some fun, have a great Rocktober. Also, if you could hit that subscribe button, please, it would make me a very happy man. And go out and get some. Cheers everybody, thank you.